You know, it's getting colder and colder here in Tokyo. All I can think of is something hot to help us keep warm. So why don't we make Japanese traditional hot pot, yose nabe? That's a really good idea. Let's get started. I think it's ready. Yeah, I think it's ready. Mm. We're gonna open it up. It's hot, so be very careful. Wow. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. Mm, smells so mm. good. Mm. Mm. The great thing about Yosenabe is that there is so many different ingredients, mm -hmm. and the broth is very clear and fresh. Um, it's very subtle in taste, so we usually eat it with this ponzu sauce and. Um, Anyway, we gotta dig in. What should I get first? Chicken? I think so. I think so. I'm gonna have a piece of chicken first. Oh, I'd have to have tofu. Tofu. Yes. This is shirataki. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Good. Mm. The chicken is so tender. Mmm. Good dashi. Mm. 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 Very good. Mm. I definitely have chicken too. Okay, yeah, definitely. Definitely try the chicken. I definitely have chicken too. <laughs> chicken, chicken. I know you have to look for the chicken. <laughs> it's somewhere chicken. in there. There's a lot of chicken in here. Oh. Now, when you make this at oh, home. Chicken, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> when you make this at home, you don't have to put all the ingredients in. Um, don't overfill it. You, if you have leftovers, just keep it in your big plate. And you can add more as you go along. This is the great thing about uh, yosenabe. You can make as much as you want and then you just cook as you eat with your family and friends. And uh, ingredients, uh, there is no strict rule. So you can add anything you want. Yes, yes, that's right. You can add fish. Mm, fish. Fish, yes. is fish is wonderful. Fish and, and seafood. Seafood is really good. Scallops. 
So you can get as creative as you like. Um, and if you want to make it a little Western, you can even add like sausages or avocado. Hmm. Avocado. It looks like a oden. Right. <laughs> we made this uh, Western style oden last year. It wasn't as popular mm. as we hoped, but um, mm. the oden itself was fantastic. So, wish you a Chicken's very tender. Yeah, the mm. chicken is amazing. Mm. What's your favorite kind of hot pot? Do mm. you think? Yes, in nabe. Yes, in nabe. Like this kind of nabe. Yes. Really. Mm. My favorite hot pot is probably shabu shabu. Mm, shabu shabu. I love shabu shabu. I do too. I do. So what did you guys think of the yosenabe, this traditional Japanese hot pot? Let us know what you thought in the comments down below. If you have a favorite hot pot, let us know what kind in the comments as well. We would love to know. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. So we're going to continue eating this yosenabe. If you want to see what we do with the leftover soup, watch until the end of this video. We're already at the end, but keep watching. And if, if you had enough of us, go ahead and check out our other videos right here on Tabi Eats. Thanks guys! Alright, so we are done with our nabe, but actually not quite. At the end, most people don't throw away the soup, and what we do is we do something with the soup. Um, this is called shime in Japanese. Today we're using udon noodles. This is just udon noodles we bought at the supermarket. Just dump it inside. And we have udon. For the end of the meal. A lot of people like to make uh, ojia, which is rice gruel. We just put maybe a bowl or two of rice in here with a beaten egg and we eat that as the shime. Um, some people like to put ramen as well but we're making udon today. So where is Satoshi? Satoshi, where is he? <laughs> He's the cameraman. Satoshi is the cameraman. <laughs> yeah! yeah. So we're just waiting for the udon noodles to cook. We just cook it for about two to three minutes um, or however you like it done. We like ours kind of um, al dente. So this is a sauce that we use, the ponzu sauce. Uh, we're just going to use this for the udon as well. Oops. Be careful of the splatter. Mmm. There we go. Hi, right, this one is for you, Satoshi san. Thank you. Dozo. You know, this soup it's been it's been used for all those ingredients that we put in there. It's delicious. So you really don't want to um, make the soup go to waste at all. The mummy comes from comes from every ingredient. That's right. There's a method in the soup. That's right. Lots of umami in here. There you go, a little more soup for you. Thank you. So what we're doing now is we're just putting some soup, we're diluting mm. the, uh, the, udon, uh, the udon with the ponzu sauce. And see, that's my bowl of udon. Yum! Mmm! 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 Oh shit! Mm -hmm. Dozo, dig in please. Dig in. We got some noodles for you. Your bowl. So thank you so much for joining us for dinner and for enjoying the nabe with us. We hope you guys enjoyed this dish. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below. And um, don't forget to subscribe. Did we already say that? I don't remember. Maybe. Did we? Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, thank you for watching, guys. And um, as always, see you guys very soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.